<laughs> Audio. In this segment, we're going to look at how to use the Profire's built-in DSP mixer. This thing uses the onboard digital signal processing inside the interface so that the mixer is not using any of your computer's resources. Why would you need a mixer inside your audio interface? Well, here's why. In an ideal world, we take a mic input, plug our mic into it, record that into our software, and mix that mic signal with a bunch of other instruments, and send the mix together out to our headphones. And we perform and record, and everything will be great. However, in real life, there's a problem. There's delay, or called that's called latency. The computer takes a while to calculate all that mixing and adding effects and that sort of thing, and the signal we hear in our headphones is a delayed version of what's going in the mic. That can really throw you off. If you have a fast computer, you can minimize that latency. Your computer can kind of do all the calculations quickly and minimize the delay, but it's always there to some degree and bothers people to some degree. Well, what's the solution? One solution is to have a parallel path around the software that you could get that mic signal directly to the headphones. That's what the DSP mixer does for you. The DSP mixer is ultra low latency. There's a very low delay, almost nothing worth talking about, between that mic input and the headphones. And you can mix the output of your software, playing all the other instruments that you're trying to play along with, with this direct line from the mic to your headphones. So software plus mic equals the DSP mixer's mix in your headphones. To use the DSP mixer, we need to make sure that the input that we're plugged into on the profile is also selected in the mixer. My voice is plugged into analog input 3, and that is selected as a source in our mixer here, and I've got control over it. That's good. I also need to have the software that I'm recording to and listening to coming into the mixer. So outputs 1 and 2 from my software are assigned to software return 1, software return 2, which is channel 17 and 18 in this mixer. Let's flip over to our recording software. In this case, it's Ableton Live. I can hit play here. You can see music is playing back. I've got control over it in the mixer. That's all good. I also need to make sure that my router is sending the mixer out to my headphones. So mixer out is going to headphones one, which I'm listening to now. And if I have talent on headphones two, I may want to set that to mixer out as well. So we're both listening to the same thing. Back to the mixer, I'm ready to go here. So I'll switch over to Ableton Live and enable my track. I wanna record a voiceover to go with that music. So I'm gonna select input three for this new track and I'm gonna press record. Now, now you, you can, can hear my voice twice, once through the DSP mixer and once through the delay of Ableton Live to the main output of Ableton Live. Well, that's kind of annoying. That's what I'm hearing in my ears uh, all the time when I'm going through Ableton Live. So we don't want that. So what I can do is mute that channel. No matter what software you're using, there's some way to mute the channel you're recording so you're not listening to what you're recording. And that's what we're doing here. I'm still recording. You can see I've got it on the meters here, but I'm not listening to it. I'm listening to the DSP mixer in this parallel path around the software. Let's, and it's a lot of talking, but it's actually easier done than said. So here we go. I'm going to record. Welcome to our new voiceover. So there we go. I've recorded my voiceover in. I can uh, disable record enable here, and I can uh, unmute and play back our recording. Welcome to our new voiceover. Pretty cool. Works just like it's supposed to work. All I had to do to make this work was, you know, coordinate my pressing of the mute button and record button on the channel that I'm recording.